Hey you guys, so I just got to the grocery store. I'm having my brother over who was just traveling Europe over tonight with Madison just to catch up because we haven't seen him or I haven't seen him in like a month and a half. So I'm gonna make a nice little cozy soup for tonight. So I just need to buy some ingredients for that quickly and just stock up on a couple of things for the house. So quick little Monday grocery shop, but today this morning was a very, very, very slow morning. I just put the candles on, put the autumn ambiance in the background. Um, I didn't even work out because I woke up this morning and I ended up kind of feeling nauseous for some reason like i just was not feeling good i could barely even drink my bone broth like i just was not feeling good and i had a little bit of a breakfast but i just like did not really have that much of an appetite and now i feel completely fine it's like a few hours later but also i just really romanticized this morning and i'm going to be romanticizing this whole week because the weather is currently raining it's gloomy outside and now's a time where we really have to start romanticizing and finding joy in our everyday life because when the weather is not consistently sunny it's really easy to get down on yourself especially if you have like seasonal depression or something and i don't know when it hits like october this time of year it starts getting darker earlier and all that i just feel like it's really really important to romanticize the little things in your life and just make your day-to-day -day really desirable regardless of the weather and so I'm gonna be doing that in this vlog doing little cute things showing you guys ideas of what to do this fall when it's raining outside when it's gloomy um, it's gonna be a fun week I also have a lot to do I want to finish the house this week too because I just feel like we've been moved in for what like three months now and it's not done yet like I still want to add curtains I want to add some pictures I want to add some wallpaper and I want to kind of just take this week and really plan out the rest of my house and what i want to do with it because it's not done yet and i just want to finish it or else this is just going to drag on forever so this week i'm going to try to show you guys what i want to do with the house and just like romanticize start romanticizing fall because yeah i know it could get gloomy and me and joe were actually just talking about this but it's just like super imp important to be fulfilled in your everyday life whether it's in your job or what you're doing every day what value are you adding to this world every single day and it's so important to think about that like what's your purpose like what value are you giving others because when you do that is when you also get things in return and you get abundance in return whether that be money happiness like whatever it is it's just so important to find happiness in your day-to-day -day life to find purpose and to find fulfillment we always look forward to the weekend and like 
vacations and stuff like that but i just think it's more important to really be happy with what your day-to-day -day routine looks like and what you're doing to make yourself happy that is what is going to be sustainable long term and not just only like feeling excited waiting for the weekend because that you're not living in the present moment like that and so by romanticizing your day-to-day -day life in a way it helps you stay present because you're really just living in the moment and making your life desirable when you have quote unquote like nothing to look forward to so that's definitely something that i've struggled to was kind of just getting too used to my routine day-to-day -day routine and kind of dreading it like i used to dread my day-to-day -day routine and sometimes i even do to this day but it's like you always have to realize like okay what am i doing today that is making me want to wake up you can't just not have a purpose you need to have a purpose you need to have a goal and that is what's going to get you out of bed in the morning that's what's going to help you accomplish your goals when there's deeper purpose to everything and when you have that like goal and you feel fulfilled but anyways before i talk too much let's do some grocery shopping and we're going to make a nice cozy soup tonight so yeah happy fall it is raining right now kind of like it right now let me know down below if you guys are excited for the gloomy weather you're dreading it regardless we're gonna make it fun so let's go do some grocery shopping this is one thing i also like to romanticize because it's fun i mean it gets you out of the house and you get to pick out some cute little food but <laughs> anyways okay let's go Hey guys, it is so much later now. It is 9.30. I have to get to bed because I have a workout class booked tomorrow, which I know it's going to be so hard for me to wake up because it was so hard for me to wake up this morning. But Lucas and Madison, my brother and sister and Connor, Madison's boyfriend, they just left and we had soup for dinner. I totally forgot to film anything. I'm sorry. I literally filmed barely anything today. But today was just a very mellow day. Like I wasn't feeling good in the morning and it was just whatever. Like there's just some days where it's just going to be whatever. It's not very exciting. Nothing really to film. But I just thought I'd update you guys now before I go to bed because I'm just going to get ready for bed quickly and hit the hay because I do not do well with less than eight hours of sleep. So I got to get to bed. But we did watch the golden bachelor and if you guys don't know they're doing a bachelor but with older people so like from anywhere from like 60 to 75 the bachelor 73 or 72 or something like that that's the golden bachelor he's pretty good looking for his age to be honest like look at him looks pretty fine i feel like it's gonna be a good season and i'm watching it on amazon prime by the way so it's on here it's also on like live tv but we don't have live tv but it's actually looks like it's gonna be pretty good and i haven't watched a season of the bachelor or bachelorette in like a couple years and i we used to watch it all the time but i don't know it just kind of like fell off and got boring and i just prefer love island honestly and so i just, just stopped watching it because it just wasn't as entertaining the golden bachelor seems a little different so i have to watch and it just seems like it's gonna have a lot of tea and i don't know it's just like fun seeing the dynamic of like older people dating because it's not really something that i feel like has ever been done before like has there ever been an older people dating show i mean probably but like this one's like really mainstream like everybody knows about the bachelor so it's interesting but anyways so definitely gonna be keeping up with that this season let me know if you guys are gonna watch it but of course alongside with love island still i'm watching love island usa right now but anyways i'm gonna go to bed now see you guys tomorrow morning i honestly didn't really do much today besides work on my computer and go grocery shopping because it was just like a blech day it's just one of those days you know also i feel like because i didn't work out it kind of just threw me off too but anyways good night you guys i love you see you tomorrow <laughs> morning you guys so i'm just getting ready because me and joel are leaving the house soon to go thrifting 
because we we're romanticizing fall but i know i said that i was gonna wake up early this morning to work out and that plan went down the drain because last night i didn't like after getting myself ready for bed i didn't end up getting in bed until 10 45 and i'm somebody who needs their eight hours of sleep going to my workout class at seven was just not gonna cut it i just like need my sleep i'm somebody that usually like sticks to my goals i'm like you know what if i say i'm gonna wake up at five i'm gonna wake up at five i'm gonna go to my workout but this week we're romanticizing life a little bit more and it's really important to have a healthy balance. It's kind of like the 80-20 rule. 80% of the time, I am very much disciplined with myself and I make myself go. Even if I'm tired because I know that I'm, it's going to really benefit me and I want to accomplish all my goals in life, etc. But at the same time, it's like, okay, sometimes you just got to chill and realize don't take life so seriously. I'm not going to quit my workout now every single day for the rest of this week. That's not what I'm saying. But you know what? once isn't gonna kill me like it's fine and the most important part is to not feel guilty about it because that's honestly what i struggled with the most in the past when i didn't wake up early or didn't do anything like that i was supposed to in my routine i would feel so guilty about it and i would be like i'm a piece of shit whatever but no <laughs> just like chill we're just on a floating planet in the middle of space like when you really think about life that way it puts things into perspective how we stress and worry about the little things in life that don't matter as much as we think that they do whatever it is you're stressing about just like sit down for a minute and think about where we actually are right now we are on a floating planet in the middle of the universe and nothing really matters in life the only thing that matters is that we're happy whatever that takes make yourself happy as long as we live a good life we did our job it doesn't matter if we were 100 percent disciplined on ourselves all the time if we are rich if we are famous like none of that actually matters at the end of the day what matters at the end of the day is that you had a good life and you you feel fulfilled with your life and whatever that looks like to you because that's gonna look different to everybody it's okay to just like chill once in a while and realize that it's like it's okay to just like step out of your routine for a day it's fine like it's not the end of the world and it's not even going to affect you at all like at all it's so minuscule especially in the grand scheme of things if i'm gonna wake up at five like i need to have a good sleep or else i'm not gonna wake up because i know what my body needs like i know my limit and i'm gonna play within it you know what i mean and obviously that also ties into romanticizing your life and just taking every day as they come and you guys know i'm big on goals and ambition and manifestation and doing anything in your power to make that possible but this right here like me not working out this morning and me quote unquote quitting on my workout and not waking up as early as i wanted to that's actually better for my body and healthier than forcing myself to do it yesterday in that situation you know it's funny because like in our me and joel's relationship i'm more of like the chill one where if i take a day off i'm just gonna take a day off it's like not a big deal to me and i'm not gonna feel guilty about it but he more so has the mindset where he's like really 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 strict on himself and he will not let himself take a day off barely even when he's sick so in that kind of way we balance each other out because he really motivates me to stick to my routine and stick to my goals and all that like everything and just like stay on top of things and on the flip side of that i make i help him realize that like it's okay to take a day off you're you'll be fine you know me and joel are very very similar in a lot of ways in our belief systems and like stuff like that but we are also very opposite in a lot of ways as well but it's like we're the yin and yang of each other so it's like perfect because what i'm lacking he has and then vice versa so also i told you guys i'd update you on this summer friday's rich cushion cream it is so so good i've been using it for the past like week now since i got it i love it so much it's amazing i honestly love summer fridays i use their sunscreen i have their blush on right now but i made myself a pumpkin cold brew this morning and it's so good i put the recipe in my last video on my morning routine honestly better than starbucks me and joel are just heading to the thrift store now this is probably like my I don't know third time thrifting this fall season this is this what i'm wearing right now this is thrifted i'm obsessed with thrifting for fall because i just feel like that's when you find the best pieces i didn't really go thrift shopping in the summer because i don't know like i'm just not very wasn't very inspired for summer fashion but for fall fashion we are romanticizing it and we're gonna go thrifting as often as we can baby because i love it and i'm obsessed with thrifting it's just like i don't know why i just love thrifting so much more than shopping because 
it's just more fun it's like a treasure hunt when you shop it's like you know you're basically gonna like everything when you walk into aritzia but thrifting is like you need to find it and that's just so rewarding when you find something and then somebody's like oh where did you get that and you're like i got it thrifting and then they're like wow and they're like yeah like i did that you know it's just cool but anyways i just put my hair in this little braid today because it's still greasy i need to wash it i had it up yesterday too but yeah she needs to be washed washed so i'm probably gonna wash it tomorrow morning after my workout but hopefully i have a haul for you guys afterwards but i'm so excited it's always just so fun to go thrifting but that's the plan for today and then after thrifting probably just gonna go home and do like computer work and all that but thrifting first As you can see, my room is a big disaster because I haven't even unpacked fully yet from my little trip. So I'm gonna do that right now and if needed, I'm gonna do some laundry. I also have a bunch of laundry that is actually just sitting in the dryer that I need to fold. So I gotta get working and then I'll show you guys what I got from the thrift store in a bit. But I just wanna like get my room situated and clean first. So let's do some cleaning together. So this is what I was talking about, what I want to do with the curtains and stuff to finish my house. These are the Ikea handheld curtains and these are so pretty. Like I love how they're like sheer and beige. As you can see here, they're just perfect. And what I'm planning on doing is on this window here, I want to put like a curtain rod thing that like sticks above the ceiling. I saw it on TikTok. And then I want curtains all along this wall just to make it so seamless. And then I also want to put the curtains in my bedroom and in my um, vanity room. So these are currently out of stock, which is pretty sad. But I'm just going to wait for them to come back in stock and then buy them. So once that happens, I'm going to get them and then set them up. So stay tuned. But I just feel like curtains will make the house feel a lot more cozy. And I've always wanted to have curtains and I didn't do them in my apartment. So I'm excited to do them here. I just feel like they're going to be such a vibe. Like that is so cute. But yeah, these are the ones that I'm planning on getting. And they're so cheap, like $35 Canadian. I just got a couple few things from the thrift store. But I think it's super cute. Everything I got is Tommy Hilfiger, which is pretty funny. But the first thing that I got is this sweater. And I just love the color and the pattern. And the v-neck sweaters are back in style now so just wearing this with like a cute light wash pair of jeans or something i feel like it would be so cute and i love this color super different and fun this is also tommy hilfiger and it's just a little cute button up i can wear this clothes or i can also wear it with like a shirt underneath i feel like it would be so cute as a little cardigan or just like one button done up or something like that but i love the knit it's navy blue and it's just so pretty and dainty and cute and i'm obsessed oh this is calvin klein not tommy hilfiger got this knit black sweater and i just feel like again this would be so cute paired with just a pair of light wash jeans just to throw on in the fall it's just like easy outfits like knits are just easy outfits you could just throw on and it looks really put together and cute and then i randomly picked up these two picture frames which i think are so vintage and adorable i just picked them up because i want to start collecting them to hang up in my room so yeah i just love them and i think they look really cute together and they're vintage and they were only like a dollar each so i was like even if i don't end up using them they were just a dollar anyways but can't wait to use these i'm just gonna kind of store them until i do yeah it's happy with everything that i got and this is just like fall vibes okay guys so i'm just on my computer now I'm gonna start doing some work for today just gonna edit and do some emails and stuff like that probably just for a few hours and then i'm gonna make dinner so let's get editing <laughs>
Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Since I haven't worked out in like a week, I didn't even realize how dark it got in the morning. I'm currently using my flashlight on my phone to light up this shot because it is pitch black right now like there's no sign of light and just last week when i came to work out it was like sunny in the morning and it was bright so the fact that that changed within a week is actually crazy i just got to my workout class i'm at oxygen yoga and fitness once again i love them so much and they just have the best classes if you guys have one near you i would definitely recommend signing up to try them out because they're so good like i just rave about them all the time because i love them and i'm doing a power cord class today so i'm really excited getting back into it it's definitely gonna be a really tough workout since i haven't been working out for like a week so i'm kind of scared but i'm also excited because it's really good to get your body moving again i'm excited for that but i'm also kind of dreading it at the same time because i know it's gonna be like that much harder because i haven't been really being that active lately so anyways i'm gonna go into the workout soon wish me luck because it's gonna be hard but i love a good push in the morning Drop me jump right on the curb. Yeah. Business run fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Take me my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the phone, I swear. Keep me a stick of that curve. Y'all got no one that they wrecking my nerves. I'm about to pause so sir. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Smack from the back of a perm. So I'm about to make my morning detox smoothie and I've shown this recipe before but recently I've gotten a few comments of you guys wanting to know the recipe so just in case you have never seen my detox smoothie recipe in my videos i am going to share right now and this is just for like one portion by the way so i do have a banana and then i do half a lemon squeezed and then just like an inch of ginger two dates a cup of spinach and then a quarter of a cucumber you can just kind of eyeball everything though i have been recently starting to use coconut water i just bought this the other day and i add about half a cup of coconut water in it and coconut water is just like super hydrating you can add regular water in place of this but coconut water just kind of adds that extra boost of like hydration and then also just top it up with a bit of ice to make it colder and better and also if you have like cilantro you could put like a handful or even like parsley just add another green i don't really have anything right now so this is going to be it for me but yeah this is my little detox smoothie recipe just put everything in a blender and blend it up <laughs> This is how much it makes, just like literally one cup exactly, or one glass I should say. But this is just the perfect amount because the first time that I made this recipe, I made it way too big and it's just like too much. This is technically half the recipe, but it makes a perfect like morning portion to drink. So yeah, and it tastes really good and it's really good for you. You get your greens in in the morning and it detoxes your body, has a ginger lemon in there and it's actually really good. Just don't forget to add the dates and banana for sweetness and it's really good. making candles but a couple weeks ago we went thrifting together and we found like these candle holders and we bought them and that's what i had to just go back for was to get the candle holders thank god i was only like 10 minutes away from home so it was fine but when things like that happen like i was just thinking about it and it's like you're gonna instantly be mad and probably 
be frustrated with yourself and be like how did i do that like it just kind of like wastes your time a little bit but then you just have to realize like everything really does happen for a reason and who knows me having to go back maybe prevented me from a car hitting me or getting me getting into an accident something like that so when you think about it that way it's like thank you universe for all that happens because everything happens for you and especially when you have a situation like that where it's like so easy for something like that to ruin your day and like be mad about it those are the things where you just really have to brush off and be like well that happened for a reason and even though you may not know the reason there's a reason but anyway so we are making fall candles together that's why i'm going to her house we're gonna do them with like essential oils and she has like the ingredients at her house to make them with the soy and whatever i'll show you guys the process as much as i could but i'm so excited i've never made my own candles before and so i just feel like the fall is that like a perfect time to do that and i thrifted really really cute dishes so i'll show you guys the dishes too when i get there but i'm so excited to make these candles this is something that's just a really fun activity to do indoors when the weather's gloomy and the fall romanticizes life a little bit and it's just so fun like to do even like a candle making night with friends or whatever she thought of the idea and i was like yes we're doing that so yeah i'm just heading to her house right now i'll be there in about 10 minutes and I'll show you guys the process once I'm there, but I've been looking forward to this since we came up with this idea because it just sounds so fun. So I'll let you guys know how it goes, but I'll see you there. Okay guys, I just got to Lexi's. She saran wrapped her counter because she said the last time she did it, it made a huge mess. So we're saran wrapped and these are all our little candle holders. These are mine, little red one. And then I got a big, a big one. And then this little cute, like how cute is this? so fall it's like a little apple pie and then lexi has all of these and these are the essential oils that she ordered off amazon and they're like a fall and autumn set so i'm gonna smell them all right now and then we'll do a little taste test for you guys i'm not a taste test <laughs> i was like oh. a smell test apple cider let's smell her she smells so good this is like fall in a little bottle and then we have pumpkin pie are you kidding me mm, this is literally what you would think a pumpkin pie candle smells like and then we have apple oh that smells good like this that. is gonna be hard to like decide like what to put together like i don't know how to actually like make sense um vanilla oh this is gonna smell good mm, wow oh my gosh there's so many like how did they come up with this many cranberry Mmm. Wow. The only one I don't like is the basil one. Basil, that's interesting. I wonder what that's gonna smell like. Caramel corn. <laughs> smells like basil. But I can't think of basil right now. Like I can't, I can't <laughs> think of like the scent of basil. I usually like basil, I feel like the smell of it. Mmm, <laughs> caramel corn. It smells like caramel. Well, no it's, shit, but... That one's actually pretty accurate to what caramel corn it smells is. like. Yeah. The candy. Harvest spice. Don't know what this is. What is this? This one smells like like exact. It smells like the red heart candies. Oh, like those cinnamon hearts. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. What I, okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought too when I smelled it. I feel like I'm tasting one by just smelling it. Okay, that smells good. Forest pine. That one's very earthy. This is very earthy. It literally smells like forest pine. Like if you put a pine up to your nose. And then we got autumn wreath. That one literally smells like. A wreath. It does. Wow, these are really accurate. I, when I smelt it, I was like, I don't know what autumn wreath smells like. And then I smelt it, and, and I was like, like yeah. oh, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> yeah. like. like you can't really imagine it before you smell it. Um, cinnamon. So it's gonna be, yep, pretty self-explanatory. Here goes the basil. Ew, I don't yeah. like that. It smells like basil, but I just don't. I don't think I like the smell. It smells like basil, but like in a bad way. Like it doesn't smell like a good like basil. Like the fresh herb, it doesn't. Yeah. No, it smells like dried old basil. Brown sugar. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, what are we gonna do? I know. <laughs> Snickerdoodle, you're done. Mmm. Jesus. The sweet ones are very cool. sweet. Yeah. Okay, last one. Candy. Corn. Did I just smell this one? Oh no, I smell caramel corn. This is candy corn. Oh, okay, that one smells. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. This smells like nail polish remover. <laughs> like it smells like toxic. Have you ever smelled like candy corns though? No. It's what they smell like. Like those little. I've never trying. Have you I, ever I, I I know they them? are. I've never eaten them. Oh, okay. they actually smell, smell like that. But I don't. know. Yeah, it's not really. It smells favorite. like nail polish remover to me. This one won't be used. <laughs> Neither will the basil. Neither will basil. That was my little essential oil try on haul of the day. 
Um, not sure how we're gonna do this. Like, I don't know. I think we're just gonna probably end up mixing a bunch and seeing how it starts to smell. I guess that's how you mix them. I'm gonna just use some like straight up. The only one I would really mix is maybe like vanilla. Oh, and oh you're cinnamon. not gonna mix them. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah, that can like, be really bad. I would only mix really them. mix like some. That's true. You Otherwise, I'll just wanna... scent it like one. That's actually true. But, but there's so many to choose from. How, how the heck do I choose? I know. Because I was thinking like I was going to be in a lab and like mixing them. But now that you say it, like it doesn't make sense to mix all of them. I feel like that would just make a bad smell. Okay, so this is the bag of wax that we have. Um, and it just needs to be melted. Did you get this off Amazon, Lexi? Yeah. Okay, so she got it off Amazon. I will try to link everything down below. But now she's melting it is that what you're doing yeah because it's like in a bowl like why is it in a bowl because it, it's um it's like a what is it called a double boiling method or something like that is there water in here yeah so the oh, water will boil okay, underneath okay. and then melt it in the okay so there's water here and then so you don't have to put it on the heat directly yeah okay so it's not on the heat directly so the water is going to steam up and then boil or melt the wax now we're going to take these which are the wicks and we're going to glue them so like the bottom of our dishes. Okay, so Lexi also has these dyes so that you can dye the wax so that it's not just like white. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Still gotta think about it. So we just put these wicks and then it comes with stickers. So make sure you guys order some that come with stickers. They'll be linked. We had to put the stickers down and then just the wicks on top. And obviously after you fill the candle, you have to cut them. But this is how it looks now. So this is what the wax looks like melted. And now we're just going to take the essential oils and put them in here until they smell good. So these are the candles that I made. Are you kidding me? This one is ginormous and they smell so good. I did this one cranberry. And then I can't remember what I mixed it with, but it smells really good. And then I did this one brown sugar vanilla pumpkin pie. I think I mixed them together. And then this one is apple and I think cinnamon. So they all smell so good. This one got a little botched because i cracked it but once i light it it'll like all melt together and be okay but 10 out of 10 would recommend making your own candles i will link everything that we used on amazon down below but it's such like a good holiday even for christmas like activity to do with your friends doing like a candle making night i think that's so cute but i'm definitely gonna light one tomorrow once they fully set and i'm so happy that we did this Hey guys, so I just got home from Lexi's. The candles turned out so good and they also smell amazing. But yeah, tomorrow I'm not working out because I just need to let my body rest since I haven't worked out in a long time. It's been like, <laughs> it's been a week, Joel. That didn't even make any sense. Why? You need to let your body rest because you haven't worked out in a long time? Yeah, because whenever I work out, I get really sore. If I haven't worked out in a long time, I get like, extra sore. You know what I mean? Did you work out today? Yes. Oh, I thought you didn't work out today. That's why I'm confused. I thought you were saying you need to rest from resting. No. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard, but this has been all over my TikTok page. The Aritzia archive sale is going live tonight at 12 a.m. I'm tempted to stay up for it, but at the same time, like, I don't want to ruin my sleep schedule. So I think that I'm going to put an alarm for 12. Apparently, things are going to sell out super fast, and they've never had an archive archive sale online before apparently it's like a the aritzia warehouse sale but online so i mean i'm not missing out on the good deals on aritzia like are you kidding me but i also don't want to stay up so i think i'm actually just gonna wake up at 12 like i'm gonna go to bed now at like 9 and then wake up at 12 a.m just to check the sale to see if there's anything good i'm probably gonna make some rash decisions in the middle of the night but it's all for the plot i can always check it in the morning but like the problem is with the these aritzia sales that happen online all the good stuff goes like that like people are on it there's hyenas waiting in the aritzia website i'll let you guys know if i end up doing that tonight which i probably will i feel like that's a good compromise if i can go to bed now and then just like take a nap before i can shop but yeah um i will talk to you guys tomorrow and update you guys if i got anything from the sale i guess let me know if you guys shop the sale as well because i texted talia one of my friends and i was like hey do you know about the sale and she's like no so i told her about it but like apparently not everybody knows. I just found out because TikTok. So I don't know. It's just been all over my page. But anyways, good night guys. I love you so much. And I just had like the best like fall vibes day today. It was a good day. I was gonna stop at Shoppers to do some errands and I totally forgot on the way home. So I'll do it tomorrow. But anyways, good night.
just made this breakfast sandwich and it looks so good is this is with gluten-free organic bread and i put avocado turkey bacon egg and mayo and i'm so excited to eat this i haven't made a breakfast sandwich in so long but i just toasted the bread and then obviously cooked everything inside but oh my gosh it looks amazing <laughs> Hello you guys, so I just got to the nail salon. I haven't gotten my nails done in so long because I don't know why, I just procrastinate it. But since I get French tip, I can get away with it looking good for longer. So it's like not that big of a deal. But I also feel like my nails, they kind of grow slow. And because of that, I just, I don't know, I look at them and I'm like, oh, they still look fine. And then now they're overgrown. But like from a distance, you can't tell. It's good from far, but far from good. So we're gonna go get some fall nails, romanticize the fall a little bit. When I used to not get my nails done like consistently, I used to only get it for like fall, Christmas, and then like Valentine's Day. I feel like getting your nails done, even if you don't get acrylics, just like getting gel or whatever, can really elevate your mood for the fall. It's something fun to do if you go with friends. I'm going alone, but if you want to make it a solo activity, it's just something really cute and fun to do in the fall. All I'm going to do though is paint them brown French tip because I just love French tip. It just grows out too nice for me not to get it again. So I'm gonna get light brown French tip and I think it's gonna look really cute. So it gives fall still, you know? I'm just debating doing like a dark brown or light brown, but I guess I'll just look at the colors and decide when I'm in there. About the Aritzia sale, I set an alarm for 12 a.m. last night and I woke up to go on it and I'm like, perfect, let's do this. But the website was geeking out. It was glitching so much. I couldn't even click on anything. I couldn't add anything into my cart because every time I clicked on something, it would take me to this page and it's like, sorry, our website is down. We'll be back running soon. And then I tried for half an hour, you guys, and I was being patient. I was letting things load. But then like after five minutes of it loading, it would just take me to that page, the error page. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. And like, I couldn't even click it to like add it to my cart because it was glitching that much. And so I'm like, okay, whatever you're done like i'll just do this in the morning so then i woke up and i went on my laptop right away to go see the sale but everything was already sold out by then so i'm like how did people even like buy things the website was completely geeking out so i don't know like how people bought things and how everything is sold out when the website wasn't even working but i don't know maybe they made changes in the middle of the night and people got to buy stuff but i wasn't willing to stay up more than half an hour because i was like i just had woken up like i went to bed at nine and woke up at 12 to do this but yeah it's kind of disappointing that i woke up to do that and it was you know got nothing it was glitching out but it's fine it's kind of funny at the end of the day and congrats if you bought anything because i'm not kidding you every single thing on the website is now sold out like there's not even one thing in stock anyways kind of disappointing but it's okay apparently multiple people had this problem too so i don't know i don't know how people actually bought stuff but anyways let's go in get our nails done it's currently one o'clock so my appointment is right now so i gotta go in but this is the before let's go <laughs> Here are how my nails turned out. I love them so much and they're just so fall and they're a lot shorter now because the more they grow out the longer they get and then they just like irk me. I hate them when they grow out too long. I don't understand people who can get like super long nails. I can barely even type with like these. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got home from my nail appointment and then I just stopped off at Walmart quickly to get a couple things. I just got some Sensodyne because one of my teeth, my tooth in the back here has been like really sensitive lately. And Joel said that this happened to him and then he just like got Sensodyne and then it went away. But I'm pretty sure it's because I tried this new um, whitening toothpaste and I think it just like really irritated one of my teeth tooth how do you say that plural whatever and then i just got this ren pure coconut milk and vitamin e hydrating lotion because joel ran out of lotion and then i just got this little cute um ribbon to use in my hair if i ever want to do some cute like ribbon hairstyles i don't know if you can tell but it's like frilled and it's so cute i just got some tresemme heat protectant because i needed some more and then i just got some 
flossers. But yeah, I just had to stop off to do a little errands run. You know, when you just like need a bunch of random things. It's like 3.30, almost 4 now. And the traffic was like picking up and I just wanted to get home. But then I realized that we don't have really anything for dinner. I kind of used all my dinner groceries for the week. And I was supposed to go shopping again earlier, but I forgot about it. So I'm like, what do we do for dinner? No, I got to go grocery shopping to get something for dinner. But I also have work to do. I was doing work earlier. I was like on a good work grind. But then I had to leave to get my nails done. But honestly, I don't know why. But doing my nails feels like a chore to me. I was talking about this with Lexi yesterday. But I am just a homebody. Like I, she was relating to me. Like we were just saying how we just, it's really hard for us to leave the house. Like I thrive in my house. I thrive being home. 90% of the time I like want to be at home. I just like miss my home. I'm currently munching on these the good crisp company salt and vinegar flavor they're like pringles but healthier and they're so good i love salt and vinegar it always hits the spot yeah i don't know what we're gonna do for dinner i have to figure that out i might have to go back out but i just don't i was also running on gas and i didn't want to fill i also get joel to do my gas yeah i don't know why i just tired vibes today i just feel like chilling now but have to think of dinner and potentially have to get groceries so we'll see what happens i'll update you guys but for now i'm having a bit of a sleep so me and joel just went out to get some things for dinner got some garlic honey pork chops got some maple bourbon salmon fillets and then just some chicken wings to last us over the weekend and for the rest of the week um, and then i'll do a big grocery shop at the beginning of next week but honestly i just was not feeling like doing a big grocery shop today so this will tie us over Kombucha in a wine glass for dinner is superior, you guys. You should try it because I don't really drink wine or really alcohol, like ever, <laughs> basically. But kombucha in a wine glass, it just gives what I would think people, why they love to drink wine, the same feeling. Cheers. Here's our dinner. We got some honey garlic pork chops with some sauteed mushrooms and salad. Just simple, easy with my kombucha. <laughs> So I'm just about to leave the house. I'm hanging out with Talia today, but I wanted to show you my outfit because I think it's pretty cute and it's so like folly. It's kind of a sunny day today. It's 24 degrees, so it's kind of like that off weather where you don't know what to wear. But I have on this sweater that I thrifted this week, as you guys saw, and then this jean skirt from Revolve, and then I have on these black little shoes with white socks and i put little bows in my braids let me know what you guys think i don't know if i'm trying to do too much but i don't know i think it's a cute little fall look and i'm obsessed with how this little outfit turned out and i'm gonna be pairing it with my brown purse that i thrifted and i think that this outfit is just the perfect medium for a warm fall day and this is the first time i've done like bows in my hair like this but let me know how you guys like it i got the idea off pinterest so 
I don't know, feeling kind of cute today. And we're gonna go to a little cute town. It's like vintage vibes. I'll just, I'm gonna bring the camera so I'll show you guys around and we're gonna go to a little cafe and walk around and just enjoy the beautiful weather today. So that's the vibes. I just got back from hanging out with Talia. It was so nice and the town was so cute that we went to. But I just wanted to show you guys. I did grab a couple of things grocery shopping quickly because they have a grocery shop there, a Whole Foods one. And I found this cashew milk. I usually make my own milk, but I just won't really wanted to try this because I've never seen it before. And it only has two ingredients, just cashews and filtered water. So I will keep you guys updated on how this is because it sounds really good and I have high hopes. So I will let you guys know.